Hi guys, I'm Mizrab, VP for Data Science in Singapore. Uh, we started off as a team last December uh, with a few people, but we're already about 20 people in Singapore uh, with a couple people coming up in Jakarta and Bangalore. What we do is we build intelligent systems uh, based off the immense data that Gojek collects so that we can do things like give customers the best driver for them, offer them good restaurant recommendations, and do things like search pricing. I like to describe data scientists as entrepreneurial statistical engineers. And the reason I like to do that is because, first of all, uh, we need to answer business questions. Uh, so one question might be, how can you recommend the best restaurants for a customer? Then how we do that is based off the data and we basically use statistical techniques. So based on the restaurants you've been to in the past, uh, based on restaurants that people similar to you have been to, can we recommend the best restaurant for you? And then finally, none of this matters if we're only drawing conclusions for ourselves. We have to deploy this production such that our app actually has the recommendations in them. And that's the engineering part. The reason I love data science so much is that Pretty early on, I realized that you know, often in life, things can be done an intelligent way and a silly way. Uh, and what's more important is that this directly impacts people's lives. So if you're going to a restaurant and it's inefficient, you have to wait in line for a long time, and that wastes your time. Uh, if you're looking for things online, be that uh, a place to go to or a restaurant to order from, if it's not a good recommendation for you, uh, then again, it's going to waste your time. And time is definitely something that's common to all the products that Gojek offers. Uh, and I think, you know, the fact that it impacts people so directly is what makes it so interesting to me. So the thing that makes data science so fun uh, is also what makes it so challenging. And that's that it involves three very distinct areas. So, you know, it's, it's great that you can think entrepreneurially, that you can use statistics to look at the data, that you can build engineering systems in things like Python, Scala, Golang, um, but it can also be very challenging to shift between those different modes. Uh, so on one day you might be coding, on another day you might be doing statistics, and on another day uh, you might be talking with different stakeholders to make sure that we're answering the business question at hand. And that definitely, you know, provides a challenge on a daily basis. Data science is very buzzed up these days uh, and you know there are downsides to that with the hype but there are also many upsides and one of the upsides is that there are plenty of resources available online these days to pick up data science and machine learning. Some examples would be just googling videos by people like Andrew Ng or Jeffrey Hinton uh, and definitely if you're interested in the more mathematical side, uh, learning a bit of probability and linear algebra would be great. Yeah.